1 Kings 18 is set in the third year of a drought that the prophet Elijah had proclaimed in the previous chapter. And it opens with the Lord telling Elijah, Go and present yourself to King Ahab. Tell him that I will soon send rain. This sets the stage for an undeniable physical display of God's power. In verse 20, following the instructions of Elijah, King Ahab summoned all the people of Israel and the prophets of Baal to Mount Carmel. There, Elijah challenges the 450 prophets to determine which God is the one true God. It's 450 to 1. The odds are not in Elijah's favor. Here was the challenge. Both Elijah and the prophets of Baal would lay wood on an altar. And on the wood, they would lay pieces of a bull without setting fire to it. Both would call upon their God, and the people would recognize the one who answered by setting fire to the wood as the true God. And we're told all the people agreed to this. The prophets of Baal are up first. They're making their preparations, and then they call on their God. But there's absolutely no reply. Elijah eventually mocks the prophets. He said, perhaps he's daydreaming, or he's relieving himself, or maybe he's away on a trip, or he's asleep and needs to be wakened. The prophets responded with shouting and cutting themselves with knives and swords. The shouts went on and the blood flowed until evening, but there was still no response. Next, in the sight of all the people, Elijah rebuilds the altar of the Lord that had been destroyed. He stacks the wood and cut up the bull. He even soaked down the altar and the sacrifice with precious water. Not once, not twice, but three times. Then Elijah prayed to the Lord. You can read the prayer in verses 36 and 37. And immediately, the Bible says, the fire of the Lord flashed down from heaven and burned up the young bull, the wood, the stones, and the dust. It even licked up all the water out of the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell face down on the ground and cried out, the Lord, he is God. Yes, the Lord is God. What will the Lord do to prove himself to you today? He promised in his word, if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. So let's do this. Let's look for the Lord and find him today. Then we can cry out together, yes, the Lord is God.